This is hands down the best tip I can give you about riding with glasses. Hello bike family and fellow blind riders! Today I'm covering a topic that I've been getting questions about since pretty much the day that I started riding. How do you ride with glasses? Fear not my blind friend, I've been riding with glasses for six years and I have mastered the art. When it comes to riding with glasses, there's generally two problems. One, how do you actually get them to be comfortable inside of your helmet? And the second problem is how do you stop them from fogging up when you're riding, especially in cold weather? These are both problems I've encountered when riding with my glasses inside of a motorcycle helmet. So what's the girl supposed to do? I'll tell you. This is hands down the best tip I can give you about riding with glasses. These glasses and these two are all glasses that I've had to ride with. There's two main reasons why these ones are better to ride with than these or the ones that I'm currently wearing. This pair has a much thinner side frame. The thinner the frames are on the side, the better it's going to fit inside your motorcycle helmet and the more comfortable it'll end up being. Inside of your motorcycle helmet, you're kind of fighting for space. So if you can get something that has a really thin side frame that doesn't take up a lot of real estate between the padding and your ear, that's going to be much more comfortable. And I can attest, these are not so comfortable inside my motorcycle helmet. And these were. It's the same scenario with the glasses that I have right now. They have a much thicker side frame than the ones that I prefer to ride with. Another reason glasses with thinner side frames are generally beneficial is because they're also going to weigh less overall than a bigger, heavier frame. And that's going to translate to being more comfortable on your face actually inside your motorcycle helmet and off of it. Actually, an even better option than these ones would be something like this, where you have a very, very thin metal frame. These will work the best because they're also very lightweight. So yeah, tip number one, choose a thin side frame. All right, the next tip along those same lines is to pick a pair of glasses that isn't actually wider than your face. You can see these ones aren't super wide on my face. These ones aren't either. I've done a pretty good job of figuring out how wide my glasses need to be so that they don't kind of protrude on the outside of my face because that's going to be hard to get inside a motorcycle helmet and then they're not going to be sitting on your face right. And these ones that I showed you earlier are actually juniors frames. They're not adult frames. I have a small face so it makes no sense for me to get really wide glasses that I'm going to have a really hard time fitting inside of my motorcycle helmet. Okay, here's our motor vlogging helmet. Glasses number one. Can you tell they're not really wider than my face? So I don't really have a problem with these. These ones are also not wider than my face, but they do have thicker side frames. So they kind of border on insufferable inside this helmet. And I really have to be careful how I'm positioning them behind my ears in order for them to actually feel comfortable. And same scenario with this third pair. It's a little bit of a thicker frame. So I find myself having to position it inside of my helmet a little bit until I find a spot that kind of works, but I'd rather not have to do that. I'd rather just have something with a thin side frame that will slip in the sides easily. Okay, this is a problem that almost every single rider has had to experience if you ride with glasses. It's your glasses fogging up. How the heck do you stop that? <laughs> This one's annoying to answer because there's several solutions and they only work partly well from my experience. When it comes to trying to have my glasses not fog up while I'm riding, I've tried everything from anti-fog sprays to rubbing soap on my glasses to holding my breath while I'm riding to opening all my vents and it's a struggle. But it's better than doing none of those things at all. So let me break them down for you. First of all, understand the weather that you're riding in. If you're going out and it's cold outside, your glasses are gonna fog up almost no matter what you do. It's just something you're gonna have to live with. Water will condense on your lenses, whether you like it or not, but there are steps you can take to reduce that. I'm gonna start with the most ghetto tip and just go up the list and hopefully they become more progressively useful as we go on. The first thing I've done if there's no airflow going, so if I'm not moving or I'm at a stop sign or something like that is I've just held my breath for a few seconds. I mean, it works. Your breath is why your glasses fog up. I can't say I recommend this for extended periods of time, like at stoplights. Maybe, maybe don't do that. Just open your visor. And that's my second tip. If you have to stop somewhere, just crack your visor open. Don't keep it shut. Kind of on that same topic, if you know a route that has like heavy traffic on maybe your morning commute or something, like avoid that route. If there's an alternate route, you can take some country back roads where you don't have to stop at stop signs or stoplights. Choose a route that kind of lets you keep moving on your motorcycle instead of having to stop, go, stop, go. Your best friend when it comes to keeping your glasses unfogged is actually just to have constant airflow going. And there's things you can do to keep that airflow going. One of them is to make sure that all the vents on your motorcycle helmet are open, especially the bottom one. Now a subscriber actually suggested that you can also try to take your chin skirt out. I've never done that and I won't because I motovlog and the wind noise would be annoying, 
But he does have a point. The chin skirt is mainly there to reduce the wind that gets inside your motorcycle helmet, so removing it might actually help. If you have all your vents open and it's still not doing it for you, maybe try to just keep your visor open just a hair, like on the first click or the first setting, whatever it is, just to get some air that will hit your glasses and hopefully stop that condensation from happening on them. Long ago, I was browsing the motorcycle subreddit and one person on there suggested that you can actually rub a bit of bar soap on your glasses and then just buff it in with a cloth and that will help. It actually did help me a little bit, but I wouldn't say it made such a huge difference. If I had to guess a number, maybe like a 20% reduction in fogging, but I'd still have to keep my vents open and maybe the visor cracked a little bit. Another thing you can look for if you're really committed to riding with your glasses is to find anti-fog lenses. Anti-fog lenses typically come with a coating on top of the lens and you activate the anti-fog coating by buffing it in with a cloth that they give you. Now this does mean that every couple of hours you're going to have to rub your glasses with the cloth to activate that anti-fog property. So keep that in mind for longer trips. But by far the thing that people try the most is just anti-fog sprays. I've tried a couple of them myself throughout the years. I will leave my favorite ones linked down below. Although I will say their degree of effectiveness really depends on how cold it is outside. So if it's really really cold and I just want to go for a ride, doing an anti-fog coating on my glasses isn't going to help me out that much. I would say maybe it's a little bit more effective than just putting soap on your glasses. But I wouldn't consider it a 100% end all be all solution. If you want to hear more about how I make my rides more pleasurable, you can check out this video. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next one. Bye!